So you guys saw Shroud talking about it. I have been working on a game secretly for the past two years, and now that secret's out, and that game is called Spectre Divide. Maybe then you downloaded it, but now you're suffering with performance issues. If this is how you play Spectre Divide, then don't worry. I'll help you fix it in just a few simple steps, so stick around and make sure to subscribe for more optimization videos. Okay, so uh, first we'll change some desktop settings and then in-game settings. But if you think that you don't need to optimize your PC settings and your PC settings are fine, then you can just skip ahead to the in-game settings part. Although I recommend you to watch the full video. Well, that being said, let's get started. Go to your desktop, right click and go to properties. Then go to advanced system settings in here. Under performance, click settings and choose adjust for best performance and hit apply. Once it is done, go to advanced and in here under virtual memory, click change. For me, it is the D drive. So go ahead and uncheck this. This must be checked by default, automatically manage paging size. Unselect this, click custom size. And in here, go ahead and set it to 8 GBs. And 8 GBs is 1024 into 8. That is 8192. So set 8192 here. And initial size, you can leave it to 100 MBs. And hit set. Hit OK. And OK. It might prompt you to restart. And if it does, then go ahead and restart your PC. Now go to the search bar and search for power. And you will see choose a power plan. And here select high performance or ultimate performance. By default, you might have balance selected. So go ahead and change it. And just in case you do not have high performance or ultimate performance, you can watch the video right here on the screen after this one to create your own custom ultimate performance power plan. So if you have anything running in the background, make sure to close it before running the game. You can go to the taskbar and hit this arrow and like I don't need uTorrent right now, I can go ahead and exit it. Same with Epic Games Launcher. You can do this with other apps that you don't really need and are running in the background to free up some resources. I've shown in my previous videos as well, so you can just go ahead and download it from the link in the description. Run the CPU unparking app, hit check status, and once the check is complete, hit unpark all, and that's done. One more thing is GPU updation. You can go ahead and update your graphics. What you need to do basically is just head over to your head over to your GPU control panel and you will find drivers whether it's intel amd or nvidia you can go ahead and download it once it is done the desktop settings are done now let's move on to in-game settings so once you're in the game head over to the settings section in here you don't really need to change much in accessibility in general uh, nothing much here as well Go on to graphics in here. By default, the game is set to windowed full screen, so make sure to change it to full screen. Then go ahead and select your maximum resolution if it's not selected in any case. And frame rate limit might be set, so go ahead and turn this off. VSync, turn this off. Render scaling, uh, obviously, this can help you improve FPS. Like, but the game is gonna look pixelated, so I'll keep this at 100. And in here, as you can see right now, I have set texture to low, post processing to low, but effects are set to high. You might think that in order to get maximum FPS, everything needs to be set to low, but that is not the case with Spectre Divide. If you have watched my video or not video, you'll understand. If it works, it works. You don't ask why. By the way, uh, you can you can check out my video or not video optimization if you play the game, and you will understand what I mean by that. So if you set everything to low, the game's gonna lag. If you set everything to high, the game's gonna lag. But with this setting on textures set to low and effects set to high, the game runs smooth. Reflex enabled should be on. On plus boost, you can go ahead and set it to on plus boost, but I prefer on. 
this will make the game look a bit more clearer rather than setting everything to low so this setting works the best so right now as you can see the game runs smooth but if i just go ahead and turn everything to epic it's 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 not good you can see it's, it's lagging and let's go ahead and set it is even on texture and if you keep texture and effects high and epic you can see it runs a little better but it's still somewhat laggy and just in case if you set everything to low the game runs kind of smooth but still there is a bit of jitter and you might not see it but you can you can feel it once you do it yourself on your pc so let's just go to the setting that i've told keeping textures low and effects high and give it some time and now it runs smooth you can see just a few seconds it will be a bit laggy after you apply the settings and then it is super smooth as you can see here and when you talk about the character model you can see the details are quite fine it's not like the character cannot be seen properly with these settings you can enjoy a higher frame rate and not sacrifice graphics because i know most of the time it's like if you want more fps you have to kill your graphics but in this case without degrading graphics you can actually enjoy higher frame rate apply these settings and enjoy spectre device at a higher frame rate and thank me later when you top frag and if you don't top frag that's a skill issue i guess with that thanks for watching and make sure to watch this video on the right to optimize your windows 11 and share this video with your friends who are playing spectre divide with you